Hi ladies and gents, Pond here with another video for Rise of Empires, Ice and Fire. Thank you so much for your previous likes, comments and subscriptions to the channel. If you haven't subscribed already, why not click on that button and ring the bell so you can get notifications whenever I'm dropping content on the channel. And now onto the top of this video, and as we would have seen this morning logging in, the snow has finally gone and we were blinded by a load of red and colour in our screens because it is the Spring Festival, it's Chinese New Year, it starts this Sunday the 22nd. But the event has started today on the 18th of January and we should have a look at the menu right now. So it's on from today until the 29th and this is obviously for celebrating the Chinese New Year. Let's get straight in and look at the events available. So there's a return of the Wish Crystal event. Of course you get one free time each day to use per day to use the crystal and you're going to get a series of uh, potential rewards with that and then these foos. You want to collect foos because in the exchange shop you'll be able to exchange your foos for various things so we've got for a thousand foos there's the get rich fortune cat castle skin giving these stats available and for also for a thousand is the dragon guarded pavilion which has only been out once before this doesn't have any permanent attributes but it's got really good stats when in use so an extra three percent troop hp five percent tactical might and five percent increase on single player siege victory enemy death rate which is really good so that's definitely worth getting for a thousand foo of course you'll be able to obtain food through purchasing packs as well as just obtaining them uh, and using your wish crystals um for everyone though i'm hoping at the moment you can see that there's this lucky you Pendant, which is going to give an extra 5% siege might and resistance and an extra 1% on your footman siege attacker HP, which would be key obviously because you most of you would be having an attacker footman legion with your Auslands legion. This is only 60 foo. Hopefully, as we saw in the previous Wish Crystal event, all of us could obtain at least 60 um, of the consumables. Uh, we got like about 45 or 60 in just in messages from the dev so i'm really hopeful we'll see that again this weekend once the main new year actually kicks off in china uh hopefully we will get some additional ones for everyone and apart from the pendant there is also this fish of fortune legion skin <laughs> which has obviously got some uh a, looks like a kai carp kai carp there uh, and that's gonna give an extra three percent army might and defense and an extra one percent on your footman siege defense uh so yeah it's a bucking Bronco style animation. There's a few other things in here as well, like these uh, surprise decor packs, giving you a uh, slightly uh, well, so giving you a chance, a small chance to get these uh, kind of skins, like the Peacock Castle 1.4 percent. And what else have we got? We've got a Magpie Bridge again, those kind of things. Other than that, there's a few chat bubbles, um, and then these words of truth. So as I say, hopefully we'll all be able to pick up something for free. Uh, by the end of the event from obtaining these foods. Other than that, we've got Firecracker Party. So with the Firecracker Party, as usual, it's a firework event. This one has 30 levels, and you've got your common, your noble, and your royal levels. So, of course, a small purchase and a slightly larger purchase. Um, in terms of free things for all, every player, free-to-play players at level 10, you can get the uh, Dragon and Phoenix Pavilion chat bubble, it's not very exciting, but uh, that's what it is. Um, other than that, for free-to-play players, nothing else. The interesting thing about this is that for spenders on your royal pack, there are two main elements to this. So first off, there is the skin, which is at level 10. And this is, as I say, the Dragon and Phoenix Pavilion skin. It's got 10% extra army might and defense. The permanent attributes are an extra 1.5% on your siege resistance and 2% on the footman siege might. Uh, it's got quite a cool animation and the fireworks going off there, which of course will slow down all of our computers. And then the other main thing is that they have a precious hero collection packs available for Lions King's Fury. Now this is a hero skin for Lionheart. It's available from S2 onwards. Of course, Lionheart is the one of the S1 cavalry heroes. He's the ranged hero. Uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail on this. Uh, the one thing I did want to focus on with this is that uh, his inheriting skill 
just improves his charge forward skill, improving the percent, the chance, and and the damage. They missed a massive opportunity here. They could have improved his seventh skill in if they'd improved the marching speed uh, buff on that seventh skill. I'm sure everyone would have been going for this because obviously that would have given a key. Uh, that would have been a key element to improve it. But the other rewards you can get from these packs is usually like super recruitment tickets. You can get a few biography seals and a thousand gems. And if you get to level 30, which you're not always guaranteed to um, from just being able to do free to play, but if you can, you'll get 231 of those packs. And the, let's just quickly go back down to it. And the chance for the actual skin is 1.9%. So what's that, about 54, 55 maybe um, chances you need to, in theory, to pick up the skin. So I'm sure most players should have a good chance of getting the skin and if anyone has unlocked like a skin from the skin shop or from or the immortal skin during the christmas event or that's given you a half decent chance of getting some more seals as well which i'm sure most uh, free to play players are struggling to accumulate so that is firecracker um you're going to need by the way these these firecracker fireworks which we'll have a look at where we can get them in a minute on to next which is the neon battle so neon is back again we've seen it in the previous year and guess what you can get super recruitment tickets you can get the firecrackers for the firecracker party and words of truth if i remember rightly um with these neons the neon comes every eight hours then you have one hour to hit the neon you can hit the neon three times i think it's only three times per day not per neon by the way so uh, you just get three opportunities a day because that's important because you only get 300 hits it has 300 levels the higher the level the better rewards um, but to me the it's just gold and some resources this time and then this little lucky bag where you can get 15 firecrackers you can get this auspicious rabbit which is quite cool it's going to increase your max wounded by 2100 so that is worth getting some auspicious rabbits you can get super recruitment tickets and words of truth and advanced ticket and some speed ups Previously, you didn't get super recruitment tickets every level. I think it was like every five or ten levels, I guess. So, in a way, it's okay. You've got a chance to get it. It doesn't say what the chances are, though, on there. So, uh, make sure you do your three hits per day, if you can, on your Neon to get those rewards. Hopefully, you'll pick up some more firecrackers. So, that's Neon. We also have more puzzles. Three more puzzles, of course. Do the task every day to unlock the pieces of the puzzles. Then you can play the puzzle. And there are three levels of rewards for each puzzle. Finish it in five minutes for the one star, three minutes for the two star, and under two minutes for the three star rewards. Uh, the first puzzle is going to give you 45 firecrackers. Uh, the second puzzle will give you 60. And then the third most, if the last puzzle you unlock, will give you 75. So that's 180 firecrackers just from that event as well. Uh, plus, there are other ranking rewards for your speeds as well. So people are going to get auspicious rabbits. Uh, for those but even like ranked one you only get 10 um shout out to javier from 380 tfc he's currently fastest the first one to get to 26 seconds which has proven to be the quickest on these puzzles so that's puzzle contest and then we have the countdown event so spring festival countdown it's the usual five day event you're gonna be able to log in every day and do different tasks this is actually on for nine days. Usually these events are on for seven days, but this one's on for nine. There's 78 tasks as usual. You can get firecrackers. Um, so it's really worth trying to get the as many as possible, complete as many tasks of these as possible to pick up your firecrackers. Uh, just on day one, it looks like you can get between six and 10 firecrackers for each event. And there are more auspicious bunnies as well to increase your max wounded. With the rewards chest for completing the number of tasks, you're getting a super recruitment ticket two super recruitment tickets and auspicious bunny guess what three and an auspicious and then four and some auspicious bunny so not a load of super recruitment tickets as usual and i'm sure that we may end up with um, an event where you have to use 20 or 30 super recruitment tickets to complete all the tasks but obviously that would be up to an individual's choice and if we have any seasonal banners it's always worth it is worth going for then because you know you're going to get the returns on this event so that's spring festival countdown and those are all the kind of key events in the Spring Festival menu. But there are other elements to it as well. So we have the Spring Festival Purchases. This is the usual cumulative purchase event for spenders. This time it's going to want spenders to spend up to 2 million gems. So not the highest we've seen. The worst was, I say worst, the most expensive was 4 million. 
And the key thing about this event is that at level 11, if you purchase 1.5 million gems, once and future king biography skin for Arthur. So if you're a spender, you've already unlocked Arthur. I'm pretty sure this is going to be um, a key, key thing for you to do. Let's check out these attributes quickly. Obviously, Arthur's a front row hero plus 18% HP, huge. Um, and plus 20 uh, plus 18 percent tactical resistance and even though it, and it's boosting his damage as well just very quickly that inheriting skill is uh reducing the damage mitigation by four percent so usually it reduces by eight percent each time um so that's gonna help um mean that your damage mitigation on this skill stays higher and the stackable buffs for the additional resistance and the additional damage that is dealt has increased from 16 layers to 20 layers. So that will be an extra 40% um, additional damage that he can do towards the end of the battle and you'll gain an extra 80% resistance. So that could be huge for Arthur. And then his preserving skill, reducing skill damage by 10% and increasing the hero's legion resistance by 13% for all your squads there, which is uh, the most resistance we've seen. But whether that's that OP, I don't know. The other thing that this event is seem to be focusing on is dragon crystals um spenders can get up to 600 dragon crystals back in the event to use on their advanced equipment and also there's some blood soaked dragonite as you can see quite a lot of vip points and the usual super recruitment tickets and gems coming back to them as well we also have vampires gift and legacy of vampires back this week so uh with the tech on today and for, for the just the next two days uh, you can use your war badges, use your courage medals. This is going to give you your gold vessels, which then you can use in the Legacy of Vampires screen in the Benefit Center. And this time again, we do have Auric Halcom, Super Dragonite, and Blood Soak Dragonite to exchange for our vessels. Um, no other packs this time, though, to use or any bubbles or anything, which is a little bit disappointing, but still. Another chance to get 720 Auric Halcom, 21,000 Super Dragonite, and the 1,250 Blood Soaked Dragonite. Um, if they're going to do this once a week, that would be great in my opinion, because you know everyone's really struggling to accumulate enough Auric Halcom in particular for upgrading their castles. So that is Vampire's Gift. We also have a couple of other things for, for spenders. So um, the all new decor, Glorious Dragon Soul. This is a pendant. Um, obtainable through the usual kind of decor pack so you're only getting the 1.9 percent chance to obtain it and it's got this nice kind of swooping design circling the castle this is going to give your extra siege might seven percent resistance seven percent that's standard for a pendant and it'll give siege defender hp an extra one and a half percent so that's pretty good obviously um big top spenders will be going after that and finally you might have noticed that another two heroes are set up for hero skins. Lilith is one of them. And she, based on her stats, she's going to be using um, the advanced bio seals and obviously will probably be part of a high spending event uh, available from X11 onwards only. And for those of you who are earlier in the game, Desert Storm has picked up a skin in the latest uh, upload as well. How this will be available, we'll have to wait and see. Maybe it'll just be one of these usual releases. And he's got pretty standard attributes for a, for a hero skin at that stage in the game. But of course, um, you know, in those earlier stages, these kind of skins can have a pretty good impact. And, um, you know, a lot of people do use a Footman Legion at that stage of the game as well. So, you know, like Bleeding Steed, Storm, and then you might put like um, Soaring Hawk, maybe or someone else on the front row of a, of a Footman Legion. So lots going on in the game, guys. Make sure you're taking part every day. Make sure you pick up your free firecrackers to use in that firework event and obtain as many levels as you can. Um, maybe if you're a medium spender, you know, you've got the chance to pick up a castle skin and a hero skin in that event. Um, so for me, I think that is very good value. I probably will be get, treating myself to that. Um, at some point this week and attempting to get those skins and then also just okay just keep working on um your your puzzles and everything else so you can generate and doing all your tasks for the countdown event so you can just generate as many firecrackers as you can 
Uh, I'm sure there'll be additional elements to this event released in the coming days because if you have a look, most of these events are slightly staggered. Uh, whether they'll bring out any additional events next week, we'll just have to wait and see. There we go, guys. That is everything for my Spring Festival video. Uh, what do you? What are your thoughts on this new event? Um, were you also blinded by all this colourful decor? Um, if we go into the castle, you can see it's it's pretty bright in there. Uh, we've just had a load of snow, and now we've got all of this uh, lanterns and everything everywhere. Um, so, and of course, you know, what do you think about four hero skins being uploaded in one go? I think we're up to like 16, 17, maybe even nearly 20 skins now. I think someone said it was 19 skins earlier. Um, that's a lot of skins. So, yeah, pop your comments in the comment section down below. And if you've liked this video, please do click on that like. And if you could please share this video on my channel in your Alliance chat, province chat, map chat, skill chats, and through line, WhatsApp, Viber, Discord, whatever you use to communicate with your fellow players in the game. That would be very much appreciated. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.